Yes. But you left out the part of selling the car. Is that the only car that she owned? Yes. How was she supposed to get to work without a car? Well, she wasn't driving the car at all. Why? Because it was a really old car, and I'm a really bad driver, so I just didn't want to drive it. Did you make an arrangement with Mr. Philbrick to sell the car? No. Did you sell the car? I did. Would you listen to me? Look at me. Look at me. If you can't control yourself, go outside. Do you understand? Yes. You're distracting me. <laughs> Do me a favor. Put her outside. When I need her, I'll call her. Okay. You needed a place to live. I didn't. I was living fine with him, and we were still dating at the time. Well, listen to me. If you're living just fine with your boyfriend, sleeping just fine with your boyfriend, not fighting with your boyfriend, mm -hmm. able to cover your bills with your boyfriend, mm -hmm. you don't move in with your mother and her boyfriend, that doesn't happen. Where a 20-year-old or a 19-year-old doesn't leave the boyfriend to move in with her mother. What helps a relationship with your mother if you're a grown-up is if you live in your house and she lives in hers and you meet for lunch Monday and Wednesday. So your mother assaulted you? Yes. And left marks on your arm? Yes. That was January 17th? Yes. You were afraid of her? Yes. When did you move out of the house? I moved out in... Look at me! I moved what? out in March. What did you do between January 17th and March when you finally moved out? I was trying to save up a little bit of money so I could move Why out. Why didn't you move in with your boyfriend? He stayed with me, but again, I had to go to work. I, I wanted to stay at And I'm going to ask the same question that I asked you the last time you gave me the same nonsense. There are no Starbucks in Downey? There are, but they're not the same co-workers. Uh, you know you're a lot of nonsense? Do you know you're a lot of baloney? I don't know why you're here. I don't know what you all are doing here. You are the most dysfunctional bunch of people that I ever saw, but you don't belong in court. You belong in therapy. Your case is dismissed.